What is going on guys and welcome back to another video. Today, well, to start off, I haven't picked up this camera in like a long time, so it really does feel good to finally be talking to the camera again. It has been a really, really long time. Today, we're going to try to touch up my engine bay. My engine bay is gross, I mean, for lack of better words. We could have probably spent the time and fixed up the, you know, engine bay when I had the engine out, but we we're on a time crunch to get ready for the PCS meet, which luckily I did time crunch for that because that was the last one of the season, which really, really sucks, but you know, I'm glad I got to participate and show the car for at least that one event. And I mean, honestly, who cares if your hood's popped up, but regardless, I just wanna like get rid of some of the things that are wrong with it. So just to start out, these are the two brackets that hold the radiator in place and they were previously painted this purple and there are like a few engine bay components here I can show you that are also purple. I did this, the coolant piping, and I mean, it it like got super dirty anyway, so it doesn't look good. And there's like this crap here. I, I don't know, I don't even have AC and I still have my AC line. So like that's something I could delete. I could hide this boost line better. You know, I, I, there's just so much to do. So it was painted by the previous owner with like automotive paint and obviously it's gonna come off because it's not powder coat. Like that looks really bad. The intake is purple. So essentially the intercooler piping is something I definitely wanna tackle and I'm gonna be changing the color. Um, eventually I wanna get it powder coated but it's not really worth it right now because the engine bay itself doesn't really look good regardless. My goal is to really just like delete AC lines, maybe tuck some stuff, get new coolant hoses and do either like black or white because I'm gonna be changing the color of purple over to white and I just I don't know I just think the purple on this purple like it's not the same purple and it's just too much I want to change this over to white because I think white is a very nice complementing color to purple the other big things is my engine bay is still blue I mean it wasn't resprayed because my engine wasn't pulled when the car got resprayed and the engine bay was never really a huge focus for me. Um, I do think uh, this winter I will yank the engine and redo the engine bay, maybe tubs. I don't know, you have to relocate your battery, your fuse box. It's, it is a huge hassle to do that and you delete a lot of stuff, which I don't know if I wanna delete. So right now, I kinda just wanna get the engine bay slowly working and I'm kinda bored and I wanna do it anyway. I'm gonna go ahead and prep the radiator brackets to be painted. I just wanna trial run those pieces because they're so easy to do and if I mess them up, whatever i can just paint them black or something I'm gonna go ahead and work on those right now so the first thing i want to do to these guys is clean them um they are super duper dirty and i don't even know if i'm gonna bother with the bottom um, i might try to like spray it inside of the crevices and things like that definitely just gonna clean these guys down and then hit them with sandpaper and get at least rough the surface up of all of that that way I can prime them and it'll have something to adhere to. All right, so now that these guys are just wiped down, I'm gonna take some sandpaper. I'm gonna start it with 80 grit just to scuff it up and take off any like loose paint that's there. And then um, if it all comes off or most of it, I'll move to the 180 just to kind of smooth it out a little bit. And then I'm gonna jump to the primer and then that way, then we'll scuff the primer and then we'll do some clear, you know, some coats of white. So did get like a gloss, so it should be glossy. I mean, flat white won't look terrible, but I prefer a gloss white. So let's get to sanding. All right, so I just got back from the store. I didn't really feel like sanding, honestly. And I just picked up some of this stuff. I've used it before. I've also used this stuff like aircraft paint thinner. It was like super industrial grade, but I figured with all these little grooves and stuff, it would be really, really difficult to sand it. So this stuff's actually peeling off the paint really well. So hopefully I'll just be able to wipe it down with a shop rag and it'll all come off. That's what it's gonna, that's what I'm hoping. And then that way it'll be a completely clean surface and we can just spray some primer on it and it'll just cut the time down quite a bit. So after going over it with the paint thinner, the brush, the I used a degreaser, some shop towels, I'm pretty much left with this. It's mostly bare metal now. I did sand any and most of the old paint off. Like I said, this isn't gonna be perfect. It's just to get it down so that there's nothing that's gonna come off. So. Pretty much gonna let this guy sit, dry out, do the same thing to the other one, and then we'll be able to prime these. Hey 
All right, so the bracket pieces are completely uh, wiped down to the best of my abilities. Uh, I did scrape on all the paint that was a little bit left over and it wasn't going anywhere. And honestly, <laughs> it's temporary and just for enjoyment regardless. So I'm just going to continue to let them sit in the sun for a few minutes. And then once they're all warmed up and dried off, we're gonna hit them with some primer, let that dry, another coat of primer, and then some, some of the white, and then hopefully they turn out decent. So let's let them continue to sit in the sun and then we'll go from there. So we do have the primer laid. Uh, since that's so hot and the pieces of metal are also very hot on a black drying area, they dry pretty much instantaneously. I've given about 10 minutes to sit and I think I'm just gonna go ahead and hit it with the white. I mean, honestly, it's gonna come out fine. So I'm gonna go ahead, hit it with the white paint and see what it looks like. All right, so while I'm letting the white dry right there, I figured why not grab the intake and go ahead and stand that up and just start taking the paint off. It's already bubbling the top, so that's good. This one's gonna be a lot easier. The intercooler piping's gonna be super simple because in the intercooler piping, there's absolutely no like bumps or anything or like little brackets to hold things like the brackets and these guys for your radiator hoses. That's the only difficult part on here. Just take off your MAF sensor and you just have to take your intake off and then disconnect it from your inlet and you're good to go. There's absolutely nothing to it but a piece of uh, metal. It's a tube essentially, so I'm just gonna let this guy soak. I'm gonna keep applying some of this stuff. Like I said, this is this goof off. I, I heard it works well on spray paint, but this is, I think, automotive paint. I mean, I could be wrong. I mean, he could have spray painted it himself as uh, just like I am, but it's taking it right off and I did buy like acetone, the Rust-Oleum acetone. I think I'm just gonna return it because this stuff's so much easier because you can just spray it right on and it kind of comes off like a like a goop almost. It's not like, like watery. So it sticks to what it's trying to dissolve and it works really, really well. So I'm gonna let this stuff continue to sit and kind of decay. And then I think I'm gonna add another coat. I'm on coat number three, I think, of the white paint. It hasn't gotten glossy yet, which I'm a little worried about. So if need be, I'll run to the store and grab some gloss clear coat and that way it'll make it glossy. So fingers crossed it comes out glossy, but if not, no big deal. So we are still spraying the brackets and we're gonna continue until they start to get glossy. They are getting more and more glossy as we do it, but I also am working on the intake as I showed you earlier. And Maddie's brother was actually building a rifle and it came in this goop and oil. So he had to use uh, this stuff called mineral spirits to break it up and clean it. And he had this tub out here of it just so it's not in the house anymore. And I was like, I'm just gonna soak it in here after the the paint thinner and it really brought it to this really dull color which I think is the original color but I have absolutely no idea I would say most of it is completely off there's like a little bit of purple still in these hose holders and then there's like a shade of it but I think I'm just gonna leave it because it's abrasive enough that it doesn't need sanded nor do I really want to sand this it has a grain to it so I think I'm just gonna hit it with this brush one more time and see the last I can get off of it but overall it came out pretty clean all right so I currently have the primer completely uh, not completely done on the intake but it is started for sure I have blocked off both holes uh, that way there's no paint inside the intake just in case it would chip and come off just eliminate that entire scenario and paint it properly this stuff's going on really really nice and as i said earlier there's a texture to the intake you can't get that out it's like a coating on there just gonna let this guy dry and continue to throw some a few more coats of primer on there um, over here these guys are coming out not too bad um, so we can get a good uh, angle they have some flake to them so i think a few more a coat or two of these of the uh, white and it'll come out looking pretty good just gonna keep working on both of these all right so i honestly couldn't tell you the last time i picked up the camera but it was essentially the same process for everything it was just strip the paint prep the paint primer paint layer 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 and let it dry so there is a forecast for a little bit of rain so i did pack everything in 
Everything is painted and everything is just a little bit tacky. So I just picked everything up from underneath. I mean, honestly, it looks pretty good. I mean, it's not gonna look amazing when you get super duper close, but I mean, that's the texture of the intake regardless. So, I mean, it didn't come out too, too bad. I'm overall pretty happy with it. If I do take one of these brackets here, which I mean, you can touch, it's just underneath is the part that's safe to touch. When you kind of set it there, definitely looks much better than the purple. I think the white kind of pops. It looks so much more clean. I wish my engine bay was painted. I could really go hard. I mean, honestly, it probably wouldn't look terrible. It's like a dark, dark blue and not really a world rally blue. So I don't know, there's tons of work to be done. I feel like if I did get around to painting the bay, I'd pick like, honestly, I might do white and then do all the purple stuff white and the intake manifold white as well. Do an alternator relocation to put it over here, reverse intake manifold, less intercooler piping, the red VF39 could get redone in white and I think it would look really, really good. I know this G Plus does sell white hoses. I don't know if that'll be too much because there are plenty of black hoses all over the car. So I might actually just replace those with black just to keep it a little more toned down. But I mean, there's tons of like these AC lines, which would look so much better than, I mean, I know it wouldn't make a huge difference, but the silver, you know, if they sell black clamps, just little things, you know, I could get the um, Mishimoto upper coolant reservoir powder coated white. So I think this is just me just experimenting and seeing if white would truly look good. I mean, it, honestly, you can't really go wrong with it. I think it would look really good regardless. I think tomorrow after I let this stuff sit and dry overnight, I'm gonna go ahead and put it on the car. But for now, I'm just gonna close the garage and make sure that any of the humidity that might be coming isn't getting into the garage. Gonna go ahead and see what it looks like tomorrow. All right, so it is the next day. Uh, the parts have been sitting for close to 20 some hours and they are dry to the touch. So when you touch them, there's no tackiness left with them. So they're good to go to be put back on. I think I'm gonna start with radiator mounts just because they're the easiest to put on and I just, they were the thing I started with so I might as well put them on first. So I'm gonna go ahead and set the camera up on the tripod and then put those on. So there they are. There's the two brackets right there. Um, I think I'm definitely gonna take these guys back out and paint them black because they aren't exactly um, clean. <laughs> They're kind of rusty. Um, I think that they aren't exactly clean. <laughs> They're kind of rusty. Um, I think that makes a huge difference um, when doing little things like that is all your hardware. Like my fenders got new hardware when the car was reassembled. That looks so much nicer than crusty hardware. So that's a huge project in itself to change all the hardware from the ro gross rusty stuff to nice clean looking stuff. So gonna go ahead and throw the intake back on. Not really gonna film that because it's just gonna be another time lapse, so. All right, so everything is installed. I ended up doing the battery tie down as well. That did not come out anywhere like I wanted it to. It started getting a little crappy out yesterday, so I tried to rush it, which is never good with paint. Like I said, my engine bay is not ready to be looked at at all. <laughs> I keep my hood down all the time because it's disgusting under here but it was one of those things I just wanted to do and try so gonna go ahead and just give you guys a look real quick so like I said we have the brackets there's the tie down I mean it's white I guess I mean from here it looks all right you got the little carbon fuse cover there's the intake right there I mean it doesn't look bad like don't get me wrong but I think it's just so little white and then there's still purple and then there's red and there's wires and then it's just a mess. I mean, if I take the camera up here, it, it just doesn't look good in any way, shape, or form. That's the biggest problem with this engine bay. But for now, I think that it was just fun to do. I just wanted to do it for some reason. I don't know. And I do like the white. I think if I did spray my bay, I don't, I don't know what color I would do. Maybe just color match the rest of the car or just black or white. I don't know. I, I'm just going to probably do a little more looking around, but white was the color I thought that would complement whatever is here the best. It is splotchy because it looks super clean and everything else is super dirty. I think something I am gonna do is just do a deep clean of the engine bay so what is there is at least clean. <laughs> so I think that's something I'm gonna do in the future, but for now, it was just something to do, it was fun, it looks okay, and if you did wanna do this to your stock car where you don't have other colors in there and you just wanna do a few things like the intake and the radiator brackets and the battery tie down, it's 
super easy and if that's all that's done it might pop and look pretty nice i hope it was enjoyable and you know tell me what color you think the bay should be i, I really don't know and i think it'd be good to know thank you guys so much for watching and if you do have any suggestions or comments or questions or anything throw them down in the comment section below and i'll be happy to answer them so thank you guys so much for watching and as always have an awesome day